This is a simple comparison of the Nord Stage 3 and Korg Kronos digital keyboards. How are they different, and which one is right for your situation? If you want to check them out further, use the Sweetwater links in the description below. We use them for our own gear buying, and they help support the channel at no extra cost to you. Let's get started. Let's cover the similarities first. They're about what you would expect, namely support for blending, inclusion of a sample library, 88 weighted hammer action keys, MIDI IO, and polyphony. There are some significant differences between these two keyboards that are hard to appreciate until you actually play them. So keep in mind that you can always fall back on Sweetwater's return policy, if you get one, and it just doesn't fit your needs. Our church owns the Nord Stage 3, and we've had some contributors test the Korg Kronos at a couple different music shops. Now, here are the three main differences to consider. Number one, sound engines, presets, and effects. Kronos has more of each. Number two, controls and reliance on touchscreen. The Kronos has more touchscreen functionality. Number three, music production versus performance. Between these two, we'd say the Stage 3 is a better performance keyboard, while the Kronos is more of a recording companion. Now we'll cover a quick audio sample for each keyboard. The Korg often sounds more synthetic and electric compared to the Nord. If that's what you're looking for, it's a far better and cheaper choice. Here are some sounds from the Korg Kronos. <laughs> On the other hand, the Stage 3 is a more natural sounding keyboard that does a better job mimicking the sound of an acoustic piano. One is not necessarily better or worse than the other, it just depends on what you're looking for. To conclude, both are very solid keyboards. The Korg Kronos outguns the Nord Stage 3 on the spec sheet, with more sound engines, presets, and an onboard audio interface. Yet, it's not our preferred pick in this comparison, unless we're talking about a recording studio context. The Stage 3 does less, but does a better job doing it, especially if you're after a performance or piano-focused keyboard. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at guitarchalk.com.